In this lesson, we're going to dig deeper into HTML and we're going to learn about something called a tag. So I've popped open my code editor here and this is some basic HTML that we've seen before, HTML code. Now HTML code is made up of small chunks of code called tags. Right here we see a bunch of tags, but let me put a new tag in there so you can see what it's all about. And here we go. Here is what is called the P tag. P, because of this, this letter P, is short for paragraph. Now, what this tag does is it tells the web browser that we're going to be putting in a paragraph of text here. That's what P stands for, paragraph. So how does a tag work? Well, it starts with a pointy bracket. Then you have a letter or a word. See so here we have P and here we have another tag, we have body. So anyway, back to P. So we have a pointy bracket, we get the letter P, we get another pointy bracket. This is the opening of the tag. And then we see the second half of a tag, the closing tag. And it has a pointy bracket again. We have a forward leaning slash. This is a slash that shares the keyboard key on your keyboard, shares the question mark key. And you got a P again, and then you got a pointy bracket. This chunk of HTML forms one tag, and this particular tag is called the paragraph tag. We also have other tags in this page. We have the body tag. Here's the opening body tag, and here's the closing body tag. Again, the only difference between the opening body tag and the closing body tag is you got this forward slash. This tells the web browser that this is the closing tag. And this whole thing represents the body portion of the web page. As you can see, you can have tags inside of tags. So in this situation, you see that our paragraph tag is inside our body tag. 